Well, fair enough, but I just think we should dig a little deeper. Yeah, but it doesn't get deeper than the basic urge to survive. Yes, so you're talking a basic human reaction to stress. Yeah, you're talking about butterflies. I still say you're missing the point I was trying to make. Adam, let it go. Okay. But next week when we do Dracula, I am not backing down. That was you backing down. Compared to how most of my disagreements with people end. Good point. I thought it was great. Mary, that's the most I've ever seen you talk in book chat. Well, two are perfect together. Uh, Tyler, we're late for dinner. Oh, um, I was gonna ask you guys if you wanted to go grab some. Oh, a weekly dinner at our parents' house. Welcome to come. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It really, it's just the four of us, family thing. They'll love it. I mean, Dad's a huge hockey fan, and Mom always cooks too much. It's perfect. Come on. Seriously, these two were fantastic together. You guys are going to love the podcast. Well, I think it's great you're trying new things in the store, honey. Don't you think so, Paul? Mm, I don't know. There's something to be said for tried and true. Maybe there's room for both. You know, I was thinking maybe we could add some sort of a refreshment station somewhere where people could get water or coffee. That sounds wonderful. That sounds unbelievable. I am open to new ideas. <laughs> I am! <laughs> sure. <laughs> You're pretty quiet, Adam. I'm just enjoying this. It's like watching a really good play. So family dinners weren't like this when you were growing up? No. No, I grew up in the foster care system, so I was always bouncing from place to place. I, I didn't know that. That yeah, wasn't a big deal. There was this one family that was really into hockey, so ultimately it was a good thing. That's wonderful. Oh, you should be really proud of all that you've accomplished, Adam. You know what I'd be really proud about? is finishing more of these potatoes. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, how's things going with the team? We're still on the team, so I'm taking that as a victory. Right. How's working with my sister? Great. It's okay, Adam. I love her, but it can be frustrating dealing with someone who can always find a book to prove she's right and you're wrong. Yes, what is up with the book? I don't know. I have to ask my dad. There's a picture of her in a crib holding a copy of Little Women. So she started early, huh? Yep. Smartest person I know. Except for when it comes to relationships. Meaning? None of them can hold up to the heroes in her books. You invited him home for dinner? Tyler invited him. But it ended up being kind of okay. That is high praise coming from you. You're starting to like him. I am not. Well, not in the way that the local paper is inferring. Anyway, I didn't mean it that way. You are spending a lot of time together. Making each other nuts. Some might call that passion. Some shouldn't call it that because they're wrong. I think you guys are good for each other. I'm not talking about it just from the PR perspective. Janet. This is all about the bookstore for me. All right, now look, sales are up, but they are nowhere near what they need to be. Patience. Trust in me, trust in the process. Everything will be fine. All right. Okay. A little more practice, she'll be ready for the big leagues. I can't believe we get to practice here today. I told my mom I want to be a hockey player like you. Oh, yeah? What'd she say? Nothing. She's closed her eyes with her hand on her face. Okay. What about your dad? He moved to California. Well, I think it's great that you want to be a hockey player. But maybe you should tell your mom you want to be more like Wayne Gretzky. Who's Wayne Gretzky? Why does everyone keep doing that? Let me 
is Wayne Gretzky. Thanks for helping today. Of course. Except where was everyone? The photographers, Mary? Well, this is off the books. It's a good group of kids. I like helping, so I've been doing some extra coaching here and there. Well, that is very... Growing up with me, I had my moments. I oh, need you back on the team. I haven't been able to get it together since you left. You've won three of the last five games. We should have won all five. We had a big game on the road tomorrow, and I wish you were going to be there with us. I still have to do my penance. <laughs> Things with Mary getting any better? She's not so bad, I guess. Well, for you, that means you like her. She does not. Hey, from what you told me, she is exactly what you need. Somebody who stands up to you. I don't think that's what I need. But even if I did, she's made it pretty clear that she wants nothing to do with me or my world. Well, have you shown her your world? Sarah, thank you so much for having us over to watch the game. Oh, hey, I love the company. I get so nervous watching these guys play on the road. Ah! What happened? The other team just scored. And what do we say when the other team scores? Ooh, that's right. They should make the puck bigger so you can see it better on TV. That is a great idea. I'll take your suggestions to the league. <laughs> Okay, bud, come on, bath time. No! Yeah, you can watch the rest of the game later, okay? Otherwise, the claw will get you. He's gonna get you. Come on. You guys need anything? Oh, we're good. I'm I'm good, are you? Good, yep. I'm good. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. Thanks for coming today. I know hockey isn't your cup of tea. Well, Sarah and Graham are great. And this hockey business is growing on me. Careful. Soon you'll be a fanatic like me. You really miss it, don't you? Yeah, I really do. It's my whole life. Is that stupid? Well, if it's your whole life, then getting kicked off the team, probably not your best move. Good point. Mm. I suppose I should learn something from all this. Like what? Can I get back to you on that? Well, what I've learned is that I am not clear on all the rules of this game. Sometimes the best way to learn is by doing. You were the one who said you were open to new ideas. <sighs> okay. to work in your stopping skills, but not bad. I just skated 10 feet. I think it's a little bit early for not bad. What if I fall down a lot? You're wearing enough protective. You're in a cushion of fall from space. Besides, it doesn't matter how many times you fall down. It only matters how many times you get back up again. Sounds like something my dad would say. <laughs> yeah, because he's awesome. Now, let's work on how you're holding that stick. Yes. Let's put your right hand at the top of the stick, like this. Yep, bring the stick out in front of you. Okay. There you go. Yep. And left hand halfway down. Perfect. Square yourself up to this puck. So the puck should be at 9 o'clock. Bring yourself forward. Yep. Further. A little more. Nice and square. Now, bring your stick back. Not too far. And when you bring it forward, make sure you make contact with the ice first before you hit the puck. Before? Yeah. That way you get in full power of the shot. Try it. Okay. Before? Before. Towards the net. 
Should I just savor this small victory first? Yes, you may. idea for the anniversary what about doing a live version of the podcast live you mean in front of people we do it in front of people now well maybe 10 at the most there's going to be way more than that at the party you are going to be fine oh and i saw this and i want you two to do it a box race mm -hmm. i just don't see how decorating a box and sliding down a hill is going to help us it'll show you're an active member of the community it sounds dangerous sounds like fun to me says the guy who runs around in sharp metal shoes slamming into people. Really? A lot. That's your view of hockey, even after hitting the ass with me last night? What, sis? It's probably the same thing. Oh, you were a natural. I'm sure there's some hidden sledding talents in there as well. They would be well hidden. You're impossible. You're intractable. <sighs> it shouldn't be this difficult to come up with a theme. Well, it has to be amazing. I want to win this thing. You are obsessed with winning. Oh, please. You're the most competitive person I've ever met. I am not competitive. <sighs> At least not about winning, anyway. I think I just like to be... The an... smartest person in the room? Are you calling me a snob again? No, most of the time you probably are the smartest person in the room. That's not being a snob, it's just being right. Yes, well, sometimes being right does come at the expense of being liked. <laughs> well, I'm very familiar with not being liked. Oh, please. You have fans, friends, relationships. Not ones that have lasted. Yes, but you don't really strike me as a settling down type. I don't know. If the right person were to come along. Ah, uh, yes. The elusive right person. Hmm. You haven't found yours yet either, huh? Have you ever read a book that was so good that you just didn't ever want it to end? Guess I've just never really met a person who made me feel the same way. There's nothing wrong with waiting for the right boat to come along. At least I don't think so. Yes, well, you get hit in the head a lot, so can we trust your opinion? <laughs> so, Miss Competitive, what are we gonna do to win this adventure? Adventure. Tom Sawyer. A rat. A rat. Sleds are incredible. Oh, and yours is fantastic. Right? Uh -huh. This hill looks pretty icy. Yeah. Mary, are you sure you're up for this? Not thinking about it. That's a cardboard box on a snow covered hill. Even if we fall off, I'm sure we'll survive it. No, on that happy note, I'll have to see your photographer. Okay. We don't have to do this if you're scared. I'm not scared. A little bit scared. Think about something else. Tell me what your future holds. Right. I want the bookstore to be a success, obviously, and I want to travel. You know, just I want to go to Paris or Bali or. I miss being on the road. I don't do well if I'm in the same place for too long. Is that why you changed teams so many times? That and the owners of those teams wanted me to be somewhere else. Ah. You know, chicken, egg. Right? Yeah. But maybe you were just breaking up with them before they could break up with you. Hmm. Maybe. So what else is in your future? Marriage, children, white picket fence? I guess that's the idea, yeah. What about you? Sometimes I wonder what it would be like to have a son or a daughter. I could teach how to skate, make sure they have a good home. Good family. Be a good dad. To be a great dad. Think so? Yeah. I mean, you're a big kid. You'd have someone to play with. <laughs> See? You were almost nice to me there. It's close. Hey, Adam. I'm getting good at that shot you showed me at practice. That's great. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Practice? Oh, yeah. I've been helping out a little bit with the team. 
He's been helping a lot with the team. I think we might win the next game. Cool sled. Thanks, Noah. Which one's yours? Oh, I'm not doing it this year. Won't be enough time to make one. You know, Noah, Mary, she's a little bit scared to ride down this hill. It's very icy. So maybe you could ride with us, help Mary be not so scared. Really? That'd be awesome. Did you bring your helmet? <laughs> Everybody ready? today thank you i did too so did noah it's really nice what you did oh, i'm glad i know what it's like not to have a dad around to do those things with <sighs> well i should call cap night <laughs> say so yourself. Well, just look at all the good press the two of you have gotten. People are starting to love you. Mary, aren't you starting to love him? Am I? No. What do you mean? I mean, we wanted to improve Adam's image and get more business for the bookstore, and we were doing both. Oh, even Eric is starting to come around. I mean, get the suspension lifted. That's amazing. Mary, isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Yes. What? No. Adam getting his job back isn't amazing? Oh, yes. That's, yes, that's good. That's really good. Hey, what's up with you today? Look, I'm happy that this is going so well for Adam. I really am, but we have a long way to go with the bookstore. Business is up, isn't it? It is, but... Not by enough. Well, that's why we're making the 40th anniversary party this Saturday such a blowout. We're talking the live podcast, games, food. We still could use a showcase idea, but I think it's going to be a huge success. But aren't we worried about it just being temporary? I mean, we could sell a ton of books that day, but how do we make it last? Sales aren't the only thing that we're going for. You want to build your customer base. Mailing list signups, podcast downloads, social media hits. Hashtag OTSB40. On the same page, 40th. I bet that's great. It is. But what? I was up late last night. I just couldn't sleep, so I was going over the numbers. And if this party doesn't work, if it isn't a huge success, we have to close the store. How come you didn't tell me how bad things are at the store? You have your own problems. I don't, I don't know if you care. Of course I care. I mean, we're in this together, aren't we? It's embarrassing. Oh, come on. A few days ago, you were filling yourself down a hill. That person doesn't get embarrassed. Yeah, but that person is also elusive. You know, she's not always there when you need her. We're going to figure this out. Our number one mission is to make sure the anniversary party is a huge success. But well, what about getting you back on the team? Mm -hmm. That'll happen. I'm not worried. Erica's coming around. Yeah? You guys are getting along? Eh, sort of. Let's just say I don't feel the need to search our hands for weapons when we meet anymore. 
Check my hands. Constantly. I'm a little nervous about that staple. You should be. Don't think there's a safety. Why don't you and I go for dinner tonight? We can try to come up with that showcase idea and talk about the live podcast. You're not still nervous about doing that, are you? Get up in front of dozens of strangers. Just talk. No. Why would I be nervous? The only thing that makes it even a little bit okay is knowing that you and and Tyler are going to be up there with me. I promise. We'll come up with something brilliant. So, dinner? Yeah. That would be... That would be great. All right. You're going out for dinner with her? I thought you said you didn't like her. I don't not like her. She just drives me crazy. Oh, here we go. What? That's even worse than saying she's not that bad, and I've heard you say those exact words before. So it usually comes next is a completely unhealthy relationship with someone you definitely shouldn't be with, and then it ends in yelling and in tears. A lot of tears. That's not true. Victoria, Danielle... Okay, well, maybe I've changed. You're the one who keeps telling me to grow up. That doesn't happen overnight, unless... Unless she is your soulmate and she's performed a miracle on you. Is that what happened? It's just a dinner. We're just gonna talk about the anniversary party. It's totally innocent. I've heard those words before, too. Erica. No, Erica was different. Oh, Erica, right behind you. Adam, can I see you in my office? Now? I've got a dinner meeting. Yes, it's important. Okay. Just let me make a quick call and change first. I'm sure it's fine. Hello? Mary, hi. It's Adam. Oh, hi. Are you on your way? Uh, no. I just got called into a meeting with Erica. Erica, is everything okay? I don't know, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take, so I didn't want to leave you hanging. Oh, uh, all right. Well, um, don't worry about it. We can, we can just do it another night. We don't need to cancel, just... Adam. It's not a big deal. It's, it's fine. Well, okay. I'm really sorry. We'll talk tomorrow? Of course. I wanted to talk to you about getting you back on the team. Really? Really. Erica, that's amazing. It's fantastic. Thank you. Don't get too excited. There are a few conditions. Name them. It's probationary. One wrong step, and you have to serve out the rest of your suspension. Got it. Walk in the straight and narrow. It's a deal. And we are throwing a party for the VIP ticket holders. The press will be there. So will my father. You'll have to get up in front of all those people and apologize for your behavior. Easy. Sorry I'm a jerk. Done. Adam, you have to take this seriously. You need to eat a little crow, and then we'll get you back on the team. I can do that. We can take it serious, I promise. When is it? Saturday. Wait, this Saturday? Mm -hmm. I can't. That's... The night of the bookstore's 40th anniversary. Well, you'll have to miss it. I can't. I'm emceeing the auction. I'm signing autographs. I'm doing a live book chat with Mary. Adam, what's more important to you? This bookstore or your career? I'll see you Saturday. about the, the party Saturday night. Yeah. It's going to be great for the big bookstore. Mm, I, I hope so, yeah. Mm. 
Okay. What is it? What do you mean? You haven't said more than ten words. Usually, you've said more than ten words before you come in the door. You're, you're right. I have had a lot on my mind, but everything is fine. Okay, Tyler. Spill. No, no. We don't need to drag me into this. Hey, it's a family dinner. You were dragged into it by being born. The, the truth is, there is a lot riding on this uh, anniversary party. If it doesn't work, we we will have to close the store. Oh, oh sweet Mary, th this is not your fault. Uh, the, the store was struggling when we retired. We, we, we even thought about closing it to, to save you from having to deal with the responsibility. Honey, we knew it was going to happen at some point. But I didn't. On the same page is not just a responsibility. It's our family. No, no, this is our family right here. And we will be here even if the bookstore isn't, sweetheart. So you're not mad? How could we be mad at you? Well, we're not done trying yet. And the anniversary party can still work. Yeah, and Adam's helping out, right? I don't want to have to count on him. She went down to City Hall to get the permit for tomorrow night's Winterfest party. Well, uh, when you see her, will you let her know I really need to talk to her, please? Sure. Thanks. Adam? You've come a long way, you know. How so? Well, you faced... And you've made such a positive impact on Mary. has been since she was a little kid. And sometimes... a few weeks, she, she's been out, having fun, t taking chances... Too. And you had no say in the matter, huh? ...those things if she didn't want to. And she certainly wouldn't have done it alone. You have made an impact, son, whether you intended to or not. You're pretty good with the impact yourself. Yeah, and I do it without a helmet. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> the game on TV last night. I think it's possible that number 16 is not getting enough contact with the ice before he shoots. Now you're a hockey expert? I think I... ...coming at you as an academic perspective. Well, I think there's room for a lot more than hit with stick. And as a condition for taking me back. It's great. It's
you're so important that it can't go without you? I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make me mad, so I... You cannot. To get back on the road. where all this leads anyway. Anniversary party <laughs> might not work without you, but that's it would fail on my own. I got suspended because I wasn't We're a team now, too, right? The best. Player means knowing when to let the other guy take the shot. Mm -hmm. Take your shot, Adam. This is incredible. I mean, just look at all these people. We have sold more books tonight than we have in the past six months. But even more important, you're building a customer base right. between the must-read list and the photo shares and the podcast downloads. Mary, here's a statement I never thought I'd say. Mm. You're trending on social media. <laughs> what does that mean? Trust me, it's good. Okay. <laughs> hey, Miss Campbell. Oh, hey, Noah. Where's Adam? You know what? He's not gonna be able to make it tonight, I'm sorry. Oh. But hey, how about I take a picture of the two of you to send to him? I bet he'd love it. Is that okay? Okay. All right, all right. And cheese. Perfect. Where do I put my old book? Oh, just out front. And you'll get a coupon you can give to your mom for your 20% off, okay? Great, thanks. I do love the book exchange idea, though. I mean, give a book to the library, get a discount on a new one. That's a showcase idea. Oh, that's not the showcase idea. Adam took care of that. He was going to tell himself tonight, but since he's not here, So nice, but I don't get it. Look on the other side. Oh. <laughs> That's lovely. So what, he had these made up for the anniversary party? No. He had 20,000 made for the Royals' next home game. On the same page is the official sponsor of the fan giveaway, and he's made sure that the bookstore will be featured throughout the game and during its telecast. That's incredibly generous. I'm still smiling. I can't feel my face. You're doing fine. I'm the sign of the item that argues with referees. Well, I hope he's gone for good. <laughs> I hope so, too. I'm getting positive feedback. My father is pleased. 
that's how your father looks when he's pleased? Yeah. Me report card time very confusing as a kid. <laughs> circulate. Go circulate. Thank you for being here. Of course. Part of being a team player. Start the book chat shortly. You ready? I'm nervous. What do I always tell you? You're not nervous. You care. You're right. Right. I care a lot. But you know, there's also a part of me that kind of can't wait to get out there, and I can do this. I think I'm gonna leave this one. What? <laughs> who are you, and what have you done with my sister? Huh. I'll tell you who she is. She's somebody who should be very proud of what she's accomplished. Yeah. You know, I think on the same page just might make it after all. I'm not talking about the store. I'd like to introduce one of our best players and certainly one of our most colorful. But he's worked hard in the last month and I think you've seen the results of that in the press. I personally have seen how he's changed for the better. Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Claiborne. Thank you, everyone, for coming out to support the 40th anniversary of On the Same Page. I am thrilled to introduce one of the owners and the driving force behind why we're all here tonight, Mary Campbell. There are a bunch of things I'm sorry about. My past behavior is one. Um, it affected the team and my overall image within the community. I'm doing my best to fix that. On the same page has been here for 40 years. I must say, I'm realizing that being part of a community, being part of a team, it's it's about more than just being present. I'm proud of this team. And I'm proud to be a member of it. I think I forgot for a while what real teamwork looked like. I always say that the entire world is right there in that bookstore. And sometimes I think I do forget that the entire world is out there too. Erica said that she thinks I've changed for the better. I hope that's true. I think it is. As much as I love this game, I've realized now it's also really important. So please excuse me, but I have to go get it. I don't know if my father will forgive you. If I don't leave, I won't be able to forgive myself. You're risking your entire career. Well, I hope that I'll be able to prove to some other team that I am that better person I've been trying to be. That is, if I can't convince you first. Let's talk about this Monday. You're gonna be late. For the record, you broke up with me. Thank you. I have been having the close to home kind of adventures. They haven't all gone well. But as someone very smart once told me, doesn't matter how many times you fall down. Only matters how many times you get back up again. 
it is in that spirit of adventure that I would like to kick off tonight's book chat. How many of you have read The Adventures of Tom Sawyer? Oh, good. I'm so glad because this is one of my very favorite books. You say that about every book. Here. Just keep me chatting about a book. But what about getting back on the team and... Maybe it's time I start thinking about what's next. Because apparently I come up with really incredible business ideas. <laughs> really? I'm quite good at it. Mm. In fact, most of this party here was my idea. <laughs> Why don't we just talk about the book? That's a great idea. Because this is a story I don't want to end. Me neither. Arkadaşlar, kavimler göçü milattan sonra 375 yılında meydana gelmiş. Asya'nın devletinin yıkılmasından sonra Hunların bir bölümün Balamir önderliğinde Batı yönde ilerlemeleri ve bu ilerleyiş sırasında önlerine çıkan kavimler, bunlar Ostrogot, Vizogot, Sakson, Vandal ve benzeri Avrupa içlerine doğru göçe zorlamaları olayına kavimler göçü denir. Sonuçlarına bakacak olursak. İlk çağ kapandı, orta çağ açılmıştır. Etnik yapı değişmiş. Günümüz Avrupa devletlerinin temeli atılmıştır. Feodalite, derebeylik güç kazanmış. Balamet tarafından Avrupa Hun devleti kurulmuştur. Avrupa Hun devletine bakacak olursak. Balamir önderliğinde Karadeniz'in kuzeyinde Avrupa'ya göç eden Hunlar tarafından Macaristan'da kurulmuştur. En ünlü hükümdarı Attila'dır. Attila dönemi Bizans ve Margos, Bizans ile Margos ve Anatolis anlaşmaları yapılarak Bizans devleti vergiye bağlanmıştır. Uldur döneminde Türkler ilk kez Anadolu'ya ayak basmıştır. Almanların Nibelungen destanı Attila'nın tanrının sırbacı olarak bahseder. Edzel adıyla geçer. Attila saltanat sistemini getirmiştir. Evet, birinci Göktürk devleti, diğer adıyla Köktürk devleti. Bu minkan tarafından Ötüken'de kurulmuştur. Türk adını kullanan ilk Türk devletidir. Bu minkan ülkeyi kardeşi İstemi Yapgu ile birlikte yönetmiştir. Bu yöntem tarzına ikili teşkilat adı verilir. İkili teşkilatlanma Türk devletlerinde federal bir yapının yapılanmanın olduğunu gösterir. En güçlü dönemi Mukan Khan ile yaşamış ülkeyi amcası İstemi Yapgu ile yönetmiştir. Çin'in böl parçala yönet politikası ile parçalanmıştır. Birinci Göktürk devlet. Sıradaki devletimiz Uygur devleti. Uygurlar devletin kurucusu Kutluk Bilge Külkağan'dır. İlk merkezleri Ötüken'dir. Daha sonra başkent Karabalkasum yani Ordu Balıkşehir'ne taşınmıştır. Maniyizm ve Budizm inançlarını benimsemişlerdir. Yerleşik hayata geçen ilk Türk topluluğudur. Türk tarihinde ilk şehirleri Beş Balık, Ordu Balık, Turfan, Karaşa kurmuşlardır. İlk mimari eserleri inşa etmişlerdir. Göç ve türeyiş destanları Uygurlara ait önemli sözlü edebiyat eserleridir. Orta oyunu sahneleyen Uygurlar Türk tiyatrosunun temelini atmışlardır. 
Küçük açısını uygulamışlardır. Manihizm inancındaki terimleri Türkçe'ye çevirmeleri Uygurların ulusçu bir kimliğe sahip olduklarını göstermektedir. Bir sonraki videoda Osmanlı'da kurulan diğer Türk devletlerinden devam edeceğiz.